Jaffa Gate has always been one of the most important, if not the most important gate of the old city. From Jaffa Gate, the roads led to Jaffa and Hebron. The road towards west passed through Jaffa Street, which is one of the main streets in Jerusalem and was the main way to the city of Jaffa that served as the main port city of Israel until the early 20th century. When you arrive from Jerusalem to Jaffa, you enter Jerusalem Boulevard that led those arriving from Jerusalem to Jaffa port. So you see the strong association of street names between the cities, which was common practice at those times, meaning naming the street with the city destination. In 1869, in anticipation of the visit of the Austro-Hungarian Emperor Franz Joseph, the main road between Jerusalem and Jaffa was paved throughout. Until then, the traffic was done mainly by foot, on camels or mules. There are eight main gates to the old city of Jerusalem. Seven of them are open. One, the Gate of Mercy, also called the Golden Gate, is sealed. Jaffa Gate is located in the middle of the western wall of the old city. Once exiting Jaffa Gate, a right turn leads to Jaffa Road and a left turn leads to Hebron, today Route 60. The exit to Hebron contributed to the importance of the gate, which is also called by the Arabs Bab el Kahil. El Khalil means friend, friend of God. The entrance gate is a metal coated wooden gate with the entrance decorated with Ottoman reliefs. Above the entrance, you can see the name of Suleiman the Magnificent the wall builder. The wall construction lasted from 1535 to 1541, while the gatehouse was built in 1536 in parallel to the construction of the wall. The heavy front doors closed the gate every evening until the 1870s. What happened then that the gate was left open at night? So during this period, Jerusalem experienced development and growth that was also reflected in the involvement of the European powers. And this included the establishment of consulates, hotels, guest houses for pilgrims, banks and other institutions in Jerusalem. On the reasons that motivated the European powers to increase their presence and involvement in Jerusalem, I explain in details in the video covering the new gate. In parallel to the accelerated economic growth, the city population has increased significantly, and one outcome are the neighborhoods outside the old city walls, some of which are near Jaffa Road. This further increased the traffic through Jaffa Gate, a point where Ottoman government stopped locking Jaffa Gate at night as used to be the case every night and during uh, Friday since noon. In 1898, towards the visit of William II, Emperor of Germany and his wife, Augusta Victoria, this section of the wall was opened and the moat that protected the Tower of David was filled. Through this gate, Field Marshal Edmund Allenby also entered in 1917 after the conquest of Jerusalem in World War I by the British. As with other gates in the walls of Jerusalem, Jaffa Gate has an entrance with a 90 degree turn. In this case, the turn is to the left and this is in order to make it harder and slow attackers trying to enter through it. Another mean for slowing down the attackers are slits, as you can see above the gate, and they are designed for pouring boiling oil. Regarding the topography of the area, west of the Jaffa Gate is 
Ben Hinnom Valley, and to the east is a brook named in Hebrew Tzolev, and in translation to English, it's the Cross Brook. The Cross Brook is actually a small valley, and it crosses the old city from west to east, from Jaffa Gate to the Chain Gate on the Temple Mount. Today, David Street and Chain Street are above and along the valley, which together form one of the longest ways of the market in the old city. As the creek continues to be natural drainage basin, dozens of manholes have been incorporated into the floor of David Street to allow easy access to the piping in the event of blockage. Now, the Jaffa Gate was preceded by a gate called the David Gate in the Crusader period, which was built slightly east of the current location of the gate. It is worth referring to the map of Cambrai from the 12th century, where you can see the citadel named Porte David and a gate adjacent to it, which means that back in the Crusader period, there was a gate here named David Gate. According to the map, the street name from the gate via David, and if we look at the street name here, it's actually called David Street, meaning that at least during the last 800 years, the street name has not changed. In 1909, after 25 years of rule by Sultan Abed El Hamid, a clock tower was built above the gate, and this can be seen in the unique picture from that period. The tower was removed along with the shops around and the shops adjacent to the outer wall. And that happened at the uh, behest of the uh, British governor at that time. And finally, as usual, a question for you. As I mentioned earlier, Field Marshal Allenby entered in 1917 through the gate after the uh, British conquered the land of uh, Israel. There was an intention to have him enter through another gate. What was that gate? The answer will appear in five seconds.